Hey, Mary Adeline. Hey, Addie. Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's the Mary Adeline and Addie Show. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Bluestone. This is Mary Adeline. And this is Addie. And today, we are getting an exclusive, exclusive tour of the Hogan. The Hogan? The Hogan. Sounds super exciting and exclusive. Now, we're going to bring you to John in the field. Literally. Thanks, Addie and Mary Adeline. Well, as you can see, I am in the field. I mean, look at all this great space. We can do anything we want. Cardboard cavaliers, field games. I mean, the bathhouse is right there, but we don't have to worry about that. Now, follow me to the great pavilion here in the field. Welcome to the pavilion in the field. It's a great place to have Hogan Fest, French Toast Massacre, and maybe in a nice place to watch Cast Iron Chef. And here we are at the Hogan's, a great place to be and live for the week. What? I, I, I hear some noise. It sounds like snoring. Let's, let's check it out. Who's, who's messing with me? Who's out of my house? Who are you? Who are you? I, I'm the man who lives in the woods. We thought this place was empty. Do you see a house? In fact, multiple houses, a fire pit. People live here, at least sometimes. I mean, we got all the Hogan spice you can imagine out here. Why would I not want to live out here? That is, that is true, sir. We've got infinite room for improvement. All this open space. Why don't you, uh, Leave me alone for a little bit. I'm gonna go back to sleep. S sir, sir. Sir, I, I am a reporter. I do need to do my, my job. I need to finish doing a report on the Hogan. You want to report on, on the Hogan's? Yeah. Why didn't you say so? Come on in, come on in. All right, on. all right. Come on. Hey, so does this look okay? The lighting fine? Yeah, I, think the, I think the lighting's good. I think it's pretty okay. Sweet, so now you can see my lovely abode. So this is where you live pretty much all, all the time? Uh, pretty much year round for me. You know, I get some other folks in here, some friends. Week at a time, we got about six spaces for beds here. Uh, some folks like to do the hammocks off of these bad boys. Oh yeah? Uh, you could pack like sardines in here, but plenty of room for just one even. Nice little sleeping space. I see you got plenty of storage. Plenty of storage. I can be laying here. Need water in the middle of the night. Right here. Bugs bothering me. Right here. Light. Right here. And sometimes, you get some little furry friends in the empty ones. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, it's, it's just about perfect, at least for a, a, guy, a guy like me who is really at home out here. But I think one of my real questions is, what do you eat around here? Well, I'm glad you asked. I usually don't eat in here. Right down there is my lovely fire pit if you'd like to go. Let's go. Well, uh, Mr. Reporter, this is it. Wow, such sophisticated methods. Oh yeah, better than any of that fancy schmancy like gas stove or electric stove. All you need is a few sticks, a little bit of heat, and of course, a cast iron pan. I can feel some heat coming off. Was Did you eat something before we got here? Yeah, I made a couple bullseyes this morning. Uh, just a, a little staple around these parts. And there's still a little bit of heat around here, so you can hang around after you cook and warm your hands. Wow, wow, it's amazing. You you mentioned something called Hogan Spice earlier. What, what, what exactly is that? Hold your hand out for me. We get uh, just a little bit of that. Wow. I don't know how nutritious this could be, but it looks very delicious. I'll, I'll keep that for um, later. You're gonna want it. Now the other part of campfire cooking that makes it so, so good, is the cast iron. Oh really? You can't beat it. It just adds a little, little what's that French word? Je ne sais quoi, bone apple teeth, something like that. A no entiendo Francois. Mm. Yeah, it's a little something. But I, I've tried to cook with some other stuff and it just, it's just not as good. I can't, 
I kind of medically have to eat off a cast iron pan at this point. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. I guess that's what happens when you live out here all the time, huh? It is. And you could live out here all the time too and also have to eat or get the chance to eat on a cast iron pan. Very nice, very nice. Well, back to you. Thank you, John! Wow, that really was an exclusive interview. Both exciting and exclusive. Wow. Wow. You know that guy in the woods? He seemed pretty nice. He did seem very nice. Well, make sure you tune in next time where we get the exclusive on the new Princess Flush drama. She was caught wearing flip-flops. And using one-ply toilet paper. See you then. Hey, it's Addie. And Mary Adeline. This is our show that is online. Mm -hmm.